Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix, you know, the operation was canceled by the user 0x4c7 error on Steam in 2024. And it's really, really easy and simple, guys. So what you're going to be doing first, guys, is of course, you want to, okay, you want to come here and you want to make sure that Steam is properly installed. So you want to make sure to do that. So what you do is you come here on Steam. Come here, click on settings. Okay. Now, what you want to do, guys, is you want to come here, go down to storage. Okay. Click on storage. And then you want to click on these three dots right here settings. Then you want to click on repair a library. Okay. You want to make sure that all the games that you have downloaded is downloaded properly. Okay. So, to do that, you just want to repair your library. And so, next thing, guys, what we need to do is you want to clear the cache. So, come here, click on downloads. Okay. Scroll down and you see this option right here. This is clear download cache. This is what I want you to click on to clear the cache. Okay. Next guys, what I need you to do is I need you to make sure that beta participation is chosen as no, uh, you know, and it's actually turned on. What you want to be doing guys is I want to show you just how we can do that. So I'm going to show you on one moment, come here and click on interface right here. Then you see this one, this option that says client beta participation. Make sure it is set as no beta chosen. Okay. And next thing, guys, what you want to be doing is let me close this. Go ahead and run your Steam as your administrator. So let me minimize this. So what you want to do basically, guys, you want to right click on your Steam icon right here. And you want to just basically click on run as administrator and run that as an administrator. Another thing, guys, we can do is of course you can restart steam close steam and then restart it you know start it again or you can also restart your pc and if you want to completely close steam guys you can do is you can we can go to your task manager right click on your uh you know windows icon right there right click click on task manager and we're going to be closing it down steam completely from here okay come here so steam client uh, web helper click on end task and steam is completely closed and then you can run it again as as an administrator okay go ahead and run that as an administrator and you can turn that on and that usually would fix the problem so another thing guys if that even doesn't work the last option what we can do guys is let me close steam but if you if you don't see run as an administrator option you can of course come here to compatibility and then click on run this program as an administrator then click on apply and then press ok let me close this for now so what we're going to be doing guys we're going to come here and search firewall firewall settings firewall settings uh, for our pc so let me close this okay so you see this option right here that says windows defender firewall with advanced security i want you to open this up and now, guys, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, enabling Steam access to the Internet, basically. So once this opens up, what you're going to be doing, let me show you what exactly you need to be doing. Okay, so firewall is enabled. So come here, right click, and then click on settings. And then, so Windows Defender Firewall is on, so you want to make sure the app is allowed. Click on Update and Security, then click on Windows Security right here. And then you see here, guys, window, you know, firewall and network protection. What you can do, this is uh, on. So you want to come here and double click that. And then, okay, firewall protection is on. So you want to allow an app through the firewall. Click on this option right here. Click on uh, this option. And then once this loads up, I'm going to show you what exactly we need to be doing. Okay. So we're going to scroll down and make sure where is Steam, guys. Let's look for Steam. And you want to make sure these three options are enabled, okay? For both private and public so steam and then steam web helper and then the other second steam web helper okay and of course also the store experience host you can turn that on as well then of course you want to click on change settings and uh, allow and click ok so it's really that easy and simple and if these you know fixes should fix your problem so I hope this video helps you out guys and if it did guys consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing to the channel turn on those bell notifications guys so you get notified of the next upload and i'll see you in the next one